Oh, all around the world, same song. It's just the same old song. Oh, all around the world, same mm. Tupac, go ahead and rock this. Now I clown around when I hang around. Virgil Ortiz and Stanionis has been postponed yet again. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. The video is not going to be that long because I'm annoyed. I'm pissed off, man. So information just came out that on fight week, again, Virgil Ortiz Jr. has pulled out and withdrawn from a fight. You know, I don't really know what's going on with him. Wish him a speedy recovery if there is something, but this is highly disappointing. And I think Virgil Ortiz, this is the third time two on this particular fight on account of Virgil Ortiz. And I know he's pulled out of at least another fight where it was on fight week. It might have been the Michael McKinson fight where literally you think you're getting a fight and then the week of is like, surprise, the fight's been canceled. Very, very bad stuff. You know, it looks unprofessional. I'm not his doctor. I don't know what's going on with him. But from the outside looking in, if there's a common denominator and it's one person, then that needs to be sorted out. So whatever's going on with Virgil Ortiz, maybe that needs to take a front seat and he has to get either his health in check or his system of cutting weight in check. To me, this this is my honest opinion. I think he probably weighs too much and I think there's some error in the weight cut process. You guys have to understand to cut weight it is a process. This is not this is like this is literally you're playing with your life if you do things the wrong way because fighters become extremely dehydrated and that's why you see when you look at their chest it looks all flat and stuff like that at the weigh in. And dehydration is no joke. You know, you could really put yourself down bad. I've seen it with fighters like David Lemieux. David Lemieux got hospitalized. He was supposed to be on the Canelo undercard and got hospitalized because uh, he basically was dehydrated and it was such an extreme weight cut. I've seen guys like Jaime Munguia and they had to sit down because they were probably dizzy. I've seen fighters who actually fainted. I've seen fighters who are on the scale and their team had to hold them up on the scale because they had no energy. I mean, it's just it's really dangerous stuff. So whatever it is, Virgil Ortiz is going to have to sort it be it move up a weight class give your body a break if that is the situation i'll wait for more but dan rayfield is reporting that virgil ortiz fainted for some odd reason and you know the fight has been postponed on behalf of virgil ortiz's safety i you gotta feel for emantis stanionis i feel terrible for him now the first time the fight was postponed was because of him he had uh, appendicitis so he had to get an appendectomy and you know that that could also be dangerous if not treated your appendix could burst and that was his his you know doing not his doing like he caused it but it was on account of his side but he recovered from that pretty fast and they rescheduled the fight and then the fight got postponed because of Virgil Ortiz and now it's being postponed again so there's clearly something is up and that something needs to be treated because this is just a bad look. Another terrible look, the DAZN curse continues. DAZN hiked up their price 275% price increase. All that for fights that people are not really looking forward to. And then the few fights you do have that people may be looking forward to, they're always riddled with some like, I thought Derevchenko beat Jaime Mugia. So that kind of leaves a sour taste in people's mouth when they feel the wrong person won. You got fights like Virgil Ortiz that keeps getting shut down before we make it to the fight. I mean, this is just bad stuff. It goes without saying. Worse, the worst thing is that PBC is on such a tear right now and they're on fire. I made a separate video about that. They got heat rock and they're dropping constant bomb after bomb. It's hard to compete and contend with that in general, let alone when your fights keep having like mishaps and people pulling out like here's a here's another example I'm just giving you the zone examples richardson hitchens versus montana love i had no beef with that fight i was looking forward to the fight 
A week or so before the fight, Richardson Hitchens says Montana Love pulled out. Same thing here with Virgil Ortiz, Stanionis. It's like people are going to grow tired of one fight not happening. I mean, I've seen fights. I can't think offhand what fight it was, but I know I've seen fights where it got canceled, it got canceled, it got canceled, and then people grew tired of it. And then ultimately the fight never even happened because it's like if you try and attempt three times to make something shake and you can't successfully do it, sometimes you have to just cut your losses and move on. But this is definitely hurtful to the zone. Everything I said has been true, has come true. Ego Stradamus, the DAZN curse continues. I mean, you, you can't thrive. I think business, commerce, we live in a capitalistic society and competition is healthy, but competition, if you can't keep up, will put you out of business. Like I, I'm, I'm a realist. So even on my channel, if I don't produce hits and I don't produce, you know, them Drake singles and make videos that people want to watch, then I would be put out of business. But luckily, I'm the best in the business and I make this look good and I make it look easy. I'm the best in the business and it's not even close. But I encourage competition, you know, the more the merrier. And you should never be afraid of competition unless you feel you're inferior. And I know I'm not inferior. So you got to be worried from them. If you see me in the force with a bear, help the bear. Y'all got to help the bear. You know what I mean? I know what I bring to the table. So at the end of the day, I always welcome competition. I don't really care because there is no competition. Only competition I got is that man in the mirror like Michael Jackson. You dig. But for Golden Boy, for DAZN, I mean, it looks like Ryan Garcia is trying to leave. Virgil Ortiz is your other star at one point. Oscar said that Virgil Ortiz is his best prospect over Ryan Garcia. So B-Hop's attacking Ryan. Oscar's attacking Ryan. You're suing him, and then your other star can't, or no, I can't even say star, but your other guy, Virgil Ortiz, who you would hope to become a star. I don't even know if he could make the weight because he keeps pulling out of the fight and stuff like that. It's it's bad, and I think fans grow tired of it, especially that roller coaster feel, that up and down, up and down. Like it's cool if you're on a roller coaster, but boxing fans don't want that. Let me know what you guys think. Very disappointing stuff. I was looking forward to the fight. Feel bad for Stan Jonas. Let me know. Will the fight ever happen? Will Virgil move up? Will he retire? Some people are even calling for that. And that's not a good sign for DAZN and go to boy. Best in the business cinema.